And I was looking also at a, I don't know if this issue is specific to the ward, but there was this something happening in the, is it called the Tender Care Living Center? Yeah. Like what's, I, I was just reading a bit about it. It said that their death toll just reached 60, I think like two days ago, like they experienced an outbreak towards the end of December. Like what's yeah. happening down there? Do you know? Yeah, so it, it's a it's a very unfortunate situation in which um, a lot of the, the older residents have been infected with the coronavirus and there have been a number of people who have passed away as a result of it. Um, and so it is obviously an issue of uh, people coming in and people contracting the virus, um, as well as just a lack of resources to help people survive the virus. Um, and the concern with that is more that um, it's it's a it's a it's a living center where it requires more resources than it actually has, um, and mm. it's a due of provincial and federal government supplying those resources, which they haven't. Um, so, for example, when you look at <clears throat> other living centers where they do get like supplemental resources as well as funds to help support older residents, this is a living center that doesn't. Um, mm. And so, in in some effect, it is neglected. Um, and it does show in the fact that people are dying from it and people are losing their loved ones. Um, so that's, that's the situation with the, um, the, that living center. Um, and yeah, I don't know. It's just, it's, it's very unfortunate to, to think about. Um, and it's, a, it's an unfortunate reality when like there are people that are neglected um, mm -hmm. by our governments and our leaders. Um, in a way that like we can't necessarily control it because you know if it is your loved one like you can't go and visit like you can't necessarily take them out of that situation um so it, it's a very unique situation in which just a lot of resources um funds and also recognition is necessary yeah because i did i did notice like during this pandemic a lot of the for-profit long-term care homes have have been like it's been rough it's been rough in there yeah. so